Kia ora, tulo falava, malo lale, and welcome to Wednesday Night League, brought to you by the Auckland Rugby League. We are live tonight from North Harbour Stadium for a cracking doubleheader that you will want to sink your teeth into yet again. It's a big night for the Howick Hornets, because both their men's and women's premiership teams are playing. It will be the men up first in week five of the Fox Premiership, and they'll face the surprise packet of the Fox competition in 2023 in the form of the Papakura Seagulls. Stephen McIver on deck this evening with a lovely Charlotte Scanlon who's, who's battled traffic and, and made it here tonight but the Howard Hornets are both men's and women's teams playing tonight it's a big night for the club it's a huge night it's extremely important to have both teams here both premier teams the men's and the women's coming here to obviously play uh, the culture within the club will just be building yeah, and they are very, very strong out east when it comes to the Howard Corners. Anyway, a chance for you now to meet a couple of the key players in these two sides. Kia ora, my name is Peter Olivetti. I'm from Papakura Sea Eagles. Um, what I love about the club is the culture. Um, I was there in 2016 when we won the Fox, and yeah, the culture of the club is just um, is what brought me back to the club this year. Pre-game, the same as everyone else, headphones, uh, a bit of um, two one two, yeah. Headphones on um, an hour before the game starts, and then yeah, you know, just lock in. Uh, kia ora, my name is Jethro Friend. I'm from the Howell Hornets. Uh, I like about my club. Um, been here for a while now, and everyone's welcoming. Um, first time I went there, it made me feel welcome, even though I was new to the club. Um, really organised, um, and just made some lifelong friends there, and continue to do so. So uh, that's why I've been there ever since. Uh, my teammates would describe me as, I guess, hardworking. Um, sometimes we're a little bit too serious at times, but um, I guess we all play to, to win or play to compete. So, um, yeah, try and be serious, but um, yeah, play the game the right way, passionate, um, do the best for my teammates. Um, yeah. And yes, in case you're wondering, that is the son of 24 Test Kiwi Clayton Friend, Jethro Friend, captaining the Howard Corners. Let's look at the point situation as we head into week five of the Fox Premiership. It will be three the Howard Hornets up against seven in Papakura. Papakura coming off a two point win against Glenora last time out and 25-12 against Tiatu the Howard Hornets. Remembering these men's teams are coming off a bye. But it is a home game for the Papakura Seagulls so let's uh, look at their lineup. and there's a lot to be excited about when you take a look at this Papakura Eagles uh, Seagulls side. You just have to go to number... Uh, Five and Lewis Sosamina used to play for the Warriors in the New South Wales Cup and the under 20s got plenty of gas. And Reese Joyce, they call him the veteran, he was playing for the Public Good Series the last time they won the Fox Premiership and is also a representative for the Cook Islands. So a lot of talent amongst them. And keep an eye out for number 14, Donny Tuvailopa, his identical twin, plays that's right for the Howard Hornets. Race Tuvailopa will come off the bench in the 19 jersey for the Howard Hornets. And there's one young man we need to keep an eye on and it's the number four jersey it's Khalees Fatialofa he's a De La Salle graduate uh, plays the Otara under 18s the county's under 18s and has plenty of gas and then of course in the nine jersey it's Jethro Friend they call him the veteran well he's 30 but dad played 24 tests for New Zealand 171 games club games and I, I hate to say this and when I remember uh, interviewing Clayton Friend but dad's 61 now <laughs> 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 so, so so that's how it shakes down. I'm starting to feel my age already. And uh, good evening to you, Clayton, as you watch your son play this evening here on Wednesday Night League. All right, uh, Charlotte was uh, busy the last 20 minutes talking to the coaches. It's a big night of footy, and we're here with Luca from Howick. How excited are you to have both the Premier teams here uh, for the double matchup? Yeah, awesome. What an awesome occasion it is to share the night with the ladies. Uh, they've been travelling along awesome um, so far in the season and we're absolutely honoured to be able to share the night with them um, here at Albany Stadium. Looking forward to it. And who do you think the key matchups are for this game? I think there's matchups all over the park. Papakura are a strong side um, and I think through the middle is going to be a tough area. And um, yeah, it's going to be a battle of, uh, of the middle there and then we're going to try and push them around as best we can and then um, yeah, see who comes out at the end. I think um, it's awesome to have the Tuivalopa twins. Um, I think that sets a massive occasion playing against each other for the first night. So hopefully we see a bit of fireworks tonight. Nice. We're here with the coach from Papakura. Sio, you've had an amazing start to the season for the boys. How have you kind of gained this momentum? 
Uh, you know, there's a, there's a lot of things being put in place from uh, last year, so I've been working on it from last year, and uh, uh, things are slowly coming to place, and uh, starting to show on the footy field, and, and uh, the club's happy, boys are happy, and uh, that's important. Um, and it's uh, you know we're, we're in a people to people business, and and if, if the people are happy, then we're good. So it seems to be their way at the moment. What have you really focused on this season? Uh, just the basics, basics. You know, there's a lot of boys that's um, been playing for a long time, and then um, going away from the basics. And so I've just been working on the basic fundamentals and. Uh, fitness and whatnot, and yeah, so that's what we're working on. And also, the game people keep making sure everyone's happy, and uh, coaching staff are good, and, and the boys and the club and whatnot. Yeah. Sio Setavano, who is the coach for the Papakura Seagulls, and you've got to love his attitude, don't you? His attitude being one of people. It's a people business. People are happy. Everybody's happy. And I think everyone is happy. There was a whole crowd out here all wearing their papakura kit. They've travelled a long way to watch this match-up. Yeah, and I'll tell you what, there are some number changes, as you will see. Uh, the one thing we understood, that they were supposed to get their new kit today, papakura. Didn't arrive, and that's how it rolls down. But there we go. Everybody just make sure that we're all happy. As we see uh, Clayton Williams, the number 10, front row for the uh, Howard Hornets. Joseph Green will be in charge of this match for... Game one of Wednesday Night League coming up after this one. It will be the Manurawa Marlins, the defending women's premiership champions, up against the Howick Hornets. What's your name, brother? Danny. 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 Yeah, you got me. One, two, one, two. Yeah, good story. Cool. Frank, you good? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Yeah, yeah. Nah, so I'm cracking good, bro, night you look forward to. Two Howick type teams. Which way are you going, bro? See. Benches ready to go. There's the hooter, and we are uh, good to go. Corey, we're coming against you. Got to. It will be Papa Kuda to kick off. They will play left to right on your screen right, as you see them. And we're underway. Week five of the Fox Memorial Premiership, and it's first use of the ball for the Howick Hornets. That's fine. Friend already putting his hand up like any good hooker saying, come on ref, <laughs> speed this game up and straight away first penalty. No. Hey, just no arms here. No arms. Oh. Yeah, early shoulder. Early shoulder, didn't see that. Go on the line. White line. Five on foot. Go, no tackles. So this is Kelly's Fatilofa. Keep your eye on this young man, oh, De La Salle College graduate. Okay. Yep. A bit of trip there by Clayton Williams as he oh, works out three. tackle four. They're just Three inside the Papakuta half now. That's Ruka Loza, the coach for the Howard three, Hornets. Mark Stein, play there. Wait. Okay, three. It's good. That's good. Get up quickly! The Cruz, hold it. Friend. He finds Tulavai, comes out. This is 17, that's Jody Henry. Last tackle, let up! Five and last. They're about 15 out. Here come the Howard Corners. Have they got numbers to the left hand side? Fatilofa, Fatilofa! Stretches, but no! Not a bad effort from the youngster. Not a bad effort at all. And a really tidy set there from Howard. They'll be happy with that start. So Papakura having to start this set about too hard from their own line. So let's see what the defensive effort from the Hornets is like. N numbers in, including Brandon Lee in the 12 jersey. Now it's Papakura working their way off their line. Ground is in beautiful condition. They left it late to mark it. Oh, early shot was uh, went missing, and they need plenty. Up. And white. Go three. Right, right, right. Go 
Stedman Lafoe. Plenty of movement from the Papakura Seagulls. They're not afraid. This is Joseph Price. He'll play the ball. About 19 out from halfway. Good challenge. The kicker was put off. And it'll go out about 32 out from the Howard line. So. This is Fatih Lofa. He got on his back and then he was well held up. He tried to stretch, but referee Joseph Green called tackle already committed. So Friend will play the ball 30 out from their own line. Excuse me, not Friend. My apologies. He was handing the ball over. This is Alan Nulevu. Eddie Yeramia wanting to play the ball. Uh, friend having to jump over the Papakura player. Gee whiz, you look at him and if you can remember watching his father play, it is scary. It's good scary. Manu Fatialofa, one of three Fatialofa brothers playing tonight. Another penalty. How really trying to play this game with a bit of pace. Uh, Jethro just always looking to try and speed up that ruck, trying to get those calls, trying to catch those markers out. Okay, let up there, Cruz. TJ, hold it. Why? Go. One. Howick on the move. Ooh. Up out of the line. Here comes Fatilova on his own. He'll go and score. No trouble at all. Hang on. I'm at a loss with what the referee is calling in that one. It looked fair, fair try, but we move on. Chef Tutupu playing the ball for Papakura. Cruz Tupo looking to get them rolling. Inside 40. What have we got? Reese Joyce looking for the 40 20. Not going to get it. Both sides. Both these sides playing. Now, the referee is uh, this touch. He's called foot and touch. Watch this again. Yeah, I'm not going. That gonna, is a tough call. Yeah, let's just say that. It it's a, a tough very call. Tough call. <laughs> Johnny Proctor playing the ball now. 10 out from halfway. Howick with the ball in the blue, running right to left. Friend. Ruben Tulavai. A dummy to himself. Friend again. He's going to be busy all night. That's a nice, tidy carry by Eddie Yedemia. Looking for the quick play. Gets it. Friend looks up. Who does he find? Tulavai. Tolovay pushes it out to Jody Henry. This is Fatilo for again. He looks a menace and a threat every time he touches the ball. He really does, and he's been carrying strong, and it's only the third or fourth set. Jody Henry goes up. Who's waiting? It's an, and it's been dropped, but it goes backwards. Okay, referee's called it, knocked it into the Howard player. Knock on, so Howard ball. He's lost into a As you can see there, you've got five Howick players in and around that ball, putting pressure on. Can you tell me that this ball was knocked into a Howick player, please? Back on the line, boys. boys uh, it might have been that right arm there. We're on the line, boys. Thank you, Sherlock. <laughs> <laughs> Howick ball, they're 10 out from the Papakura line. This is the first match of Wednesday Night League. 
the Howick women face the Manurewa Marlins in the second game live on Sky Sports Select Channel 50 and of course the Auckland Rugby League's YouTube channel. Here come the Hornets. Jody Henry way out to Alan New Levu. He's well contained but gets the ball away to Waipuri. He's still going Waipuri. Having to be manhandled by the likes of Henry Pai. Friend looks up. Henry. Brandon Lee almost goes through. Joseph Price all over him like a wet rag. He goes friend again. Ball comes out. This is Williams. Gets a little offload away. That's Manu Fatilofa. Pressure's building now for the Howard Cornets. Friend again. Swings it wide. This is Brandon Lee. Well taken around the legs by Henry Petty. Friend dummies goes right. Goes back inside again. Tries to back his way in. Ball stripped, but illegal strip. And Jethro Friend was cheeky there. He he didn't try and hold on to that ball. Very smart play from him. Uh, Howick are just dominating this game so far. They've been getting out to their third defender every time, really playing fast. You know, it looked like a fair strip. The Papa Kurabla just didn't realise there was another man on the tackle. <laughs> Jethro Friend definitely right, did. <laughs> <laughs> Williams to play the ball for Howard. Three out from the Papakura line. Here goes Jethro Friend again. Jody Henry. He finds Liam Prendergast. Well taken by his opposite number and Reese Joyce. Henry getting involved. Okay, let it go there. Eddie Yerami has taken a hit. And he gets up and plays the ball. Friend looks up. Here comes Manu Fatiolofa. And the maroon and white brick wall holds at the moment. Friend. Prendergast. Henry, quick ball. Comes back for Brandon Lee. Defence holding at the moment for Papakura. Friend with a little grubber through. Howard looked up and says, I was taken out, sir. No, you weren't. Back to the team. Bit of a disappointing end to a... So a lot of pressure that they've been building. Uh, just a tad too much on it there from Jethro Friend. Stand play. Mark straight. I know you want to say something about the player in the way, but let's, let's just move on, shall we? we could, it could be like that all night if we're not careful, Charlotte. <laughs> no, yep, we'll carry on. <laughs> yeah, keep calm and carry on, as they say in Wiz NO League. Here come the Papakura Seagulls now. This is Jeff Tatuwu playing the ball just on halfway. Ooh, ball well held by Joseph Price. He's thrown to the deck. That's his coach looking on, Sio Sitofano. Tatupu trying to back his way forward. Ball's been dropped. Oh, they're going to call a knock on on that. He's looking at the touchy going, really? And this is where... You've got to be really careful, like any team. You, you make that ground, and then the unforced errors. Clean, clean drop? Yeah, he, he lost that. They need to be really careful. That was the first time that they actually had the ball um, and had some good momentum going forward, but they just need to be a bit more clinical, play their sets out, and start creating that pressure. So Hauk will now have to work themselves out of their own territory. They're, again, 30 out. It was the last time they had to get themselves out. They started at the 30-metre mark. Beautiful night here on Auckland's North Shore, North Harbour Stadium, for another night of Wednesday night league brought to you by the ARL. If you're watching on the Auckland Rugby League's YouTube channel, good evening to you for wherever you're watching around the world. And here's this young man, Kelis uh, Fatialofa. A talent and a half where you're taking a good look at him because he's getting plenty of ball, but also looking for plenty of ball too. Yeah, he's going he's going to work and he understands his role. This Howick team has really good push either side. Look at this kick chase. Jody Friend was hoping that Alan New Levu had uh, plenty of wheels, but it's just a little bit too far. The, ch the kick chase is good by Howick. The kick chase is awesome by Howick. Tupo, he finds Sinili Malu. Point in, that's enough! Here, and wide! Wide! Okay, three. 
Good shot by Jethro Henry. Friend front on to Henry oh. Petty. Tupa with a kick outside the 40. Goes into dead man's territory and out. So they're making ground, but they're not really executing the fifth. They're not looking for something a little more positive, are they? No, they're, they're not really chasing their kicks. They're not getting deep enough. They're all falling just inside the 30. Now, you, you were speaking to the coach, uh, Setefano, the Papakura coach, prior to the, the match, and you came out and said, I'm really surprised at where they are. Were they, are they the surprise packet of the Fox so far in actually making the, the grade? They, they are, definitely. And every team that's come across them has had, had to really hold on. So it'll be interesting to see if how it can cross and really take advantage of this momentum that they've created. Manu Fatilova plays it just inside Papakura territory. Tyrone Waipuri. The Howick fullback has been getting involved since the start of this game. We're not going to play on. Just take any they are getting penalised off the park at the moment, Papakura. There's going to have to be some words at least at half time, or at least a message that goes out and says, just chill. I think they're getting frustrated with the play of the ball and how fast it is coming at them from Howick. Papakura need to be able to just hold that wrestle, hold them down a little bit longer and not really interfere when they're already standing. Roy and Gillette. Ball's gone backwards. Picked up by Brandon Lee. He's met head on by Stedman Lefau. And he's head on being the operative word. What a mammoth tackle. I tell you what, he's got a moustache that would uh, a mammoth would be happy with. I bet you he's proud of that. <laughs> You've got to be happy with a big slug like that if you're a bloke, right? <laughs> That's a big slug. I'll leave that one up to you. Well, all, all, all I'm saying is if you don't know what a slug is and you're listening to our commentary, blokes call their moustaches a slug. You can do anyway. Or a tash or whatever you want. It's uh, Rukulosa, the coach of the Hark Hornets. He'd be... Probably a little bit disappointed that that first try wasn't given. We both thought it was a clear try. Didn't see the, the foot in touch, even on the replays. But it is what it is. Brandon Lee is going to go off. So they'll just uh, give him a test on how he's doing. All right, when you're ready, go. One. And on comes Race oh, Tui Vailopo. So the identical oh, twins are on. 14 for Papakura, 19 for Howick. Get up for Hipkoo! Can't wait. Go, three. Friend, big long pass out to Tulavai. And balls dropped. I'll tell you the interesting thing I've noticed with the Fox Premiership this year as we, we'll take a look at this again, Charlotte, is there's a lot of camaraderie out there. And even if someone does make a mistake, they're not really getting in their face. It's more the supporters getting in their face. You know what it's like in, in, in any competition you play. If you make a mistake, you want to get inside the head of the opposition. But there seems to be a lot of, uh, I don't know, brotherly love out there. That's an interesting observation. I think they do <laughs> hype each other up rather than get on the other side, if that makes sense. So they hype each other up and internally really um, congratulate each other for creating that error. Why did, why did you Why did you just say, I disagree with you? You're talking through a hole in your head. <laughs> Because I know you wanted to. Papakura ball, nil all, no score so far in this week five Fox Premiership match at North Harbour Stadium. Papakura have had their chances, but they haven't really executed on five. Donnie Friend, right, sorry, Jody Henry, excuse me, right up on the face of Papakura. Joseph Price. Reese Joyce with the kick now. He's inside the 40. He goes straight down the throat of Tyrone Waipuri for Howick. Oh, strong tackle from Lewis Susumia. 
He'll feel that run, Waipuri. And again, another big shot, this time from Seddon and Lafau. And Alan New Level feels it. Fatia Lofa. Now they're amping up. Viliamai Lula here. Viliami. Stay ball there. Stay cruise. Hold. Go four. Outside. JD Henry kicks. Maybe it bounce just to be sure of it. it. Can't get really slippery out here on a winter's night. Point in it up. Yeah. Hold. Look at that shot from Stedman Lefeu. You've got to love the game of rugby league when they throw them that low and hard. That was a better defensive effort there from Papakura, really putting pressure, making the Howick players really stop in their tracks. Viliami Lula here now getting involved. He'll play the ball three out from halfway. Oh, there's Donny. He's not on yet. My apologies. Donny's coming on shortly to have a crack at his younger brother. Well, excuse me, identical brother. Identical twin brother. Waipuri. Fatih Lofa. He's a big piece of human flesh, this young man, isn't he? He can go. He's been playing with speed this whole game. He's really, he's, he's got nice groundwork where he plays nice and fast and lets players like Jethro Friend get in behind and speed top, the game up. Top carry by New Level into Papakura territory now. This is Manu Fatialofa. Howick on the go again. Prendergast steps left, sees a gap and keeps going. Always oh, looking to the left to see Fatialofa. Ball knocked on, Papakura ball. Picked up by Jeff Tatupu. Okay, let up there, Roy. Over the line, hold here. Wait, wait. There's zero. That's two. Just there. I think it's going to get a little bit greasy out there as well. Second one. Referee Green just holding up play for a moment. I think they're taking a quick look at Joseph Price. All right, if he's good, we're going to carry on. Now push up this way. Well, when you're ready. Go. He's good, this way. He's okay. Get out together. Back straight. That's Donny Tuivailopa. This is Stedman Lefau. Who did he get tackled by? Race Tuivailopa. I think we're all waiting for the brothers to uh, meet in a tackle as Cruz Tupo plays the ball. Just on halfway for Papakota. Christian Jordan Tupo with the kick. They get the good bounce. Picked up tidily by Nui Levu. But he's well Stand met by oh, Viliami Lula here. Billy, you gotta come in. Johnny Proctor gets the pops the ball away. Finds Liam Prendergast. Prendergast he steps off that right again. Walks straight into a shot of Christian Jordan Tupo. Jethro Friend getting a wee rest. This is race. Two by Lupa. Josiah Fatilofa is on now in the 16 jersey for no, Howick. Milk, and Pudi waiting for Captain the ball. Steve. No, no. Oh, That's Nukurua Ngere in the 15 jersey. So substitutions all over the place at the moment for Howick. It's a high ball who goes up and it's knocked forward. Now it's been knocked into a Howick player. That's a Kuila Tua for the Papakura Seagulls. We've got a good, again, five players from Howick up and in around that ball. Again, another tough call. Uh, they do tend to err on the side of caution there. The Howick player was uh, behind the Papakura player, but oh, 
That's how they view it. <laughs> Don't commit yourself too hard, will you, Charlotte? <laughs> of course not. <laughs> So that's Stedman LaFalle getting his, it looks like his wrist looked at by the trainer. So early in the game, we had, there was an opportunity, we thought it was a try from the youngster in uh, Kaylee's uh, Fatilova. They call it a, f uh, it's this one here. No, it wasn't that one. But this is another attempt by Kaylisa Fatiolofa. Howick ball. Break! 15 out from Papakura. Friend finds Fatiolofa, puts the big goose tip on, bumps away one, comes back off his left, can't get away okay, from Sinili Malu. Jody Henry. He finds Nukuru Ngere. They're ramping up their defense, Papakura. Fatilofa. Back inside. Here comes Manu Fatilofa. Extra tackle there by Aquila Tuha. Now that's Jeff Tutupu in the 12 jersey down. Just keep an eye on this. There he is there. Oh, he just looks, he looks like... Oh! Friendly fire. Friendly fire from his teammate. And they're checking his jaw. So this is the lead up to it. Ngere with the play the ball. So he bumps off Joseph Price, and then he well he he gets a I think it might have been an elbow, elbow from Akila Tua. Eighteen left to play in this first half of Wednesday Night League between the Papakura Seagulls, who have a two and two record, it's currently sitting seventh on the table against the Howard with a three and one record, and they sit third. Here come the Hornets. Can they be? First to put points on the board. They've split the numbers both sides. They come left. Jody Henry, little short ball. Fatilofa, Fatilofa steps left and goes. Caught them off guard. Josiah Fatilofa sneaks one in under the guard, and the Howard Corners are first to score in Wednesday night league. Smart little play there, dummying one way and going the other, especially when you've got such a power horse uh, as a centre. <laughs> so that was a race to Ivailopa with the play the ball. Now look at Josiah Fatilovic. Goes way! In the old days, I would have gone, sucker, gotcha. <laughs> Just that little dummy to Fatiolofa really just held up his defender there, giving it a nice little one on one. They were quick to react. They were quick to react, but you know, it's, we're talking milliseconds and reaction time. Great play by Josiah Fatiolofa, and Ruben Tolovai will attempt to add the extra points. So it's taken a while. It's it, taken a while for them to crack this Papakura defence. It has taken a while, and Papakura have done really well to actually hold them out for as long as they have, considering the position that Howick has had throughout this game. Howick is just doing really well at playing nice and fast, playing side to side, and not really letting the, the physicality of Papakura kind of deter them from running strong lines. Ruben Tolovai with the first attempt of the evening here at North Harbour Stadium. Can he convert Jazar Fatialofa's try and make it the perfect six? Strikes it nicely, but a bit of a hook. And so the score doesn't change. So as we head towards half time, it's 4 0. Howard lead Papakura here in week five of the Fox Premiership. 
It's a beautiful evening. It's really cold out there. It's, it's getting really crispy. But the ground is in fantastic order. The groundsmen here at North Harbour have been doing a stunning job every time we've turned up for Wednesday Night League. And it's in great. They were actually right, only back. marking the field at around 4.30 this afternoon. Just so I got the grass right. Wouldn't let me on the field, Charlotte. Restart. I said, why not? They said, you're not coming on the field. That's it. Okay. Never okay, argue with the groundsman. Ten holes. Hold it. Nere okay, plays the ball. Here's race to Vailopa, who's been busy since Hold coming it. off the bench. Prendergast. Whoops. Has to pull back. Yeah, no, Almost no. ran behind the player. Fight too low for waiting at dummy half. Yeah, gotcha. Flat go line go for Howick. Okay, off the Manu Fatialofa. Three, three brothers playing tonight. Jody Henry everyone. kicks just Give inside him. halfway. Take looking for some spare ground. It's picked up nicely by Sinili Malu. And again, the chase is good. Right, Over the top comes oh. Kaylee oh. Safatilofa. Alan, you can go a different way. Actually, it was good to see, too, that um, school, school, yeah. Yeah, uh, high school, you know, college rugby league got back underway uh, this week. Yeah, a like very it. important time. And Marcelin College are back. Mont uh, uh, alumni Monty Beethoven, very happy about that. Marcelin finally decided to... Yeah, get back into footy, which is their, their history, and have a, their, bring, rebuild their rugby league heritage, which I thought was a, was a really lovely story. More on that at half-time in this match. Papakura only trailing by the four. It's been a strong first half. Early unforced errors by Papakura have gone, and they seem to have settled into their game. That was Tyrell Sala and Papakura on the sideline warming up. Hey, little Piam! Mark's not on him. Stedman Lafau, he seems okay. Arms all good. Oh, yeah! More of that, please. Go, no, Manu no, Fatia no. Lofa. Tupo picks it up quickly. You're good now, Manu. What a tackle. Is that a tackle? Oh, a great hit, eh? A great hit. <laughs> I love that. Ruben, That's why on. we love this game. <laughs> Bring the heat, baby. Reese Joyce. Waiting, great take, good timing by both. Waipuri with the good take, and Lewis Susamir didn't take him off. That was fantastic. Want some more of that? Just a reminder. <laughs> yeah. Now, Will, you're not going quick. You don't need to come back. No, you're not going quick. So, penalty in favour of Papakura. Now, 13 and a bit minutes to go in this half. What do you do? You've got plenty of time. You're not going to take the two? Would you play the two? Oh, you, you wouldn't go for the kick. You see, I, I use the I, Ivan Cleary philosophy. If there's points on the board, I'm going to take them. You know, that that's a, it's a bit of a... What sort of game am I playing here? Mm. Margins, you know, but bore, per boring. <laughs> <laughs> Personally, I think it's early enough in the season that actually playing footy is more important than just yeah. having a kick. Okay. Um, so giving the giving the guys more chances to actually play out sets and practice come finals. Fair enough. Just, oh, oh no. Should have taken the two. <laughs> Should have taken. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, we shouldn't laugh, but we're not laughing at this moment. Sort of. Joseph Price, we go. <laughs> Nothing wrong with the Ivan Cleary philosophy, you know, Charlotte? No, nothing wrong with it. <laughs> I think, see that moment there, come a final season, not going to happen again, is it? You'll be thinking about that. They'll be taking the two. <laughs> Howick Ball, a little over 12 minutes to play in this first half of week five of the Fox Premiership. Stephen McIver, Charlotte Scanlon making all the noise for you, having a lot of fun because that's what Wednesday Night League is all about. Double header coming after this match at 8 o'clock will be the women, the Manorewa Marlins, the defending women's champions against the Howard Hornets, 6 plays 7 in week 7 of the Premiership. Stedman Lafau has been all over the opposition. Now he has led beautifully. Good shot! Involved again as well with Joseph Price. They're not afraid to throw it in tonight. Fatiullo for the try scorer. Bumps off one tackle. That of Donny Tuivailopa. 
Jody Henry, Henry, that death little chip over the back. Now, what's the chase like? Two R's under pressure. Good pressure, but gets out. He, the, the held call was uh, way earlier than them pulling his foot over the line. So, Papa Kura ball, but again a good example of this kick chase by Howick. Yeah, Fatia Lofo once again showing all class. Uh, that kick chase, his, his determination, he was the only one down there to really put pressure on. Four 0 the score. Howard lead Papakura. Josiah yeah, Fatilofa with a bit of a sneak play to put the first four pointer on the board. Stand on the back. Off now. Mark will play the ball. That's fine. Viliami Lula Look here. Let go. Stand here. We got a hold. Hold. Go two. Price gets involved again. Nice little short ball Come for out, Jeff Tatupu. Mark straight. Three. Price involved again. Beats a couple, beats more, looks to gets the flick away. Nice ball. Here they come now. This is Reese Joyce. He's going all the way. Now he'll look left. Pop a ball left, and there we go. Howard have been cracked by Lewis Sosomia and Co. And don't the Papa Kuda fans love that one? It just opened up down the right hand side of Howard. Smart play there, just attacking at the seven twice, just big bodies against small bodies, getting an offload away, simple draw and pass to then finish. Well, Joseph Price, watch here, beats one, beats two, gets around three, and then gets the little flick out there. And then Reese Joyce is away. Who's out left? Lewis Susumia, straight one to the line, and Papakura have leveled. And they level in style. Young man that's played New South Wales Cup in 20s for the Warriors. Came out of nowhere. Actually came out of nowhere with the way this game has been travelling in the first 50, uh, sorry, should I say 30 minutes. It came out of nowhere. Yeah, Howick have had all the um, position, all the... Just dominating, really, across the board with their kick chase, their, their set, set completions... To then just let Papakura come through with a nice, easy offload, a draw and pass, and a, a try. It's a funny game, rugby league. We love funny. <laughs> we do, especially when it comes like that. <laughs> this is uh, Chewy Pompey, the younger brother of Adam Pompey, who plays for the Warriors. I asked him, can I call you William? He says, no, I don't like that name. It's my name, but I like Chewy, which is a shortened version of his middle name. Really funny uh, dressing room that Papa Gutis here goes. But this is Tui Pompey with the conversion attempt of Lewis Susumia's try. Yeah, coming in. Good. Oh, he struck that sweetly. And that's, that is good with a capital G. And Papa Kuda suddenly, out of nowhere, are leading Howick 6 4. Watch it again. Joseph Price making up for that knock on. Fair enough. But I've got to say, as we've seen left hand flick passes, it reminded me of Adam Pompey the other day, uh, two weeks back. But look at that. Lovely little smart pass picked up by Tutupu, who found Reese Joyce. And it was a straight run to the line. And Sosomir says, Thank you very much. I'll have it. I've got backwards the other Stand now! Funny boys, plenty. You heard himself? Under eight minutes to play in the first half, Joseph Price. <laughs> Is everywhere. Uh, helping set up tries, dropping the ball, and now injured. He's having a big old night, isn't he? He is. I think he doesn't look happy. He might have winded himself when he regathered that ball. I like the look of this uh, Setovano. Set to find the coach CEO. I get a good feeling about him, and I come back to what we discussed at the beginning of the game about he puts people first. He thinks culture first, and the game will take care of itself. Obviously, you know, as a coach, but the way he was talking to you, it, it, it gave me a sense of why Papakura are maybe the dark horse now in this competition. Yeah, sure, they sing two and two, but we're seeing quite a bit of what, what's around. That's Jethro Friend, by the way, 30 year old son of. 
Clayton friend. 24 tests for New Zealand, Clayton. Jethro playing in the hooking role, and that's the young Fatialofa. Kaylee's Fatialofa. He has been ever present in this match so far. Okay, it's held there. Let go. Hold. Okay. Lefau with a big carry again. This is big. Hey, Off now. How about that okay, one great. by Henry Payne? Tupo. Been quiet the number nine. Been trying a lot. But yeah, Howick's defense has, has been really solid, apart from that last try. Stony Tuivo Lopo. Gosh, I've got to say that ball from Tuivo looked a tad forward. Nothing late. Here's the kick now from Reese Joyce. Waipuri waiting and takes it beautifully. Just missed the time that. Yeah. The Queen of Tuha is going to be called for that one. Are you right, mate? That's what he's saying. Sorry I tried to take you out. Waipuri was actually pretty smart then by actually lifting his legs up in the air to mean that his hang time was a little bit higher. On the line, Liam. Look at you, coach. <laughs> <laughs> Makes complete and utter sense. It does. So you can't touch him when you're in there. I didn't realise I was sitting next to the, anal the an analyst. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Charlotte Scanlon, okay. Put that big computer oh, sitting next to me. Go. My word. Makes, makes sense, all right? Makes complete sense. Sonny, lit up. And it's another Mark way of Drake. playing within the rules. It does, yeah. This is Tommy Hano Kuduru in the 18 jersey Big off the bench for Howick. Ngere waiting for him. Ruben Tolovai has just been so prominent in the middle, not doing the flash, but just doing the hard bits. I'm going to say bits, just those little carries in the middle, taking, getting, bringing in attackers. Another Papakura player down. Playing on. This is uh, Kuduru. Fifth and last. What have Howard got? They're going to roll. Nice take by Henry. He finds Fatia Lofa. Gets one high, but puts that ball down. Finally, the youngster, Kaylis Fatia Lofa, gets his four pointer. That, that pass that, that Jody Henry picked up, how smooth was that? His catch and pass this whole game has been very, very silky. But a well-deserved try for Fatia Lofa. Watch the, watch the pick-up from Jody Henry. Watch here. It was sweet. Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, I'll take that. Thank you very much. And a nice flat ball to Fatia Lofa, who gets a, a sly one around the neck, but gets the ball down. That was just a really nicely executed try. This left side from Howick has been damaging the whole game. They've been trying, haven't they? You know it's been waiting to break open on the left-hand side. Finally, they get it close to half-time. Ruben Tolibai will attempt to add the extras. Couldn't do that for Josiah Fatilova. Can he do it for okay. Kaylee's Fatilova? Well, it's a family affair. <laughs> so which of the Fatilovas hasn't scored yet? Let me just There's a check. very famous name. I'm trying to figure which one hasn't scored yet. I'll get there. Manu. Manu. Okay, so we need a front row to score the try. If strikes this one, but eee, this time just squeezes it past the right hand upright. So no addition to the score, but how it jumped back into the lead on the back of the Kaylisa Fatialofa try. Again, look at the pickup from Jody Henry in the 17. Here it comes. A little bit behind him, it goes, oh, like taking a marshmallow off a baby. And then, bang, just like that. Good try. How lead, 8-6. Papa could have just had their number splits wrong on the defense. They had too many people on that short side and no one really covering that open side shift. It was easy money for Howick then. Closing in on half time here in the first game of our Wednesday Night League double header. Thanks to the Auckland Rugby League. Live here on Sky Sports 4. The second game will be live on Sky Sports Selected 8. 
and that's Channel 50. Both these matches live on the Auckland Rugby League YouTube channel. So plenty of chances for you to uh, get a sniff of these or even look back if you miss it. And you can uh, have another look back at it tomorrow on the YouTube channel. 8-6, under three minutes to play. Uh oh Hang on. Delayed reaction to the knee. Three when you're good. That's Sio the coach of the Papakura Sea Eagles. Doesn't give too much away. Got a good poker face. We like that. Kaylee Safatilofa with a really clinical try from the left edge of the Howard Hornets. This will be the. Have a look at this. I just love this pickup there. Oh, wow. That was just sweet. And Fasiolofa, who has been threatening all night, gets it down with the left hand. He was very happy about that after being denied early in this first half. Are you ready, Ruben? Tolovai plays the game. Should I say plays the ball? Jethro Friend. Oh, and a forward pass. You're not, you're not calling that a forward pass. Like any good middle, it's very marginal in there. <laughs> <laughs> so Tullabai is going to come off. He has been in the wars. He has been in the middle of it all this evening in this first half. So Jethro Friend will go back on. This has been a good game of footy. It really has been, and we knew it from the beginning with this matchup. It looks like the left side for both these teams are very strong attacking sides. Nice pick up by Reese Joyce for that ball that was down around his toenails. Tupo. He finds Donny Tua by Lopa. Okay, wait, wait. Tupa waiting. Looks left, goes right. Not this is no Terrell ball. Sala now on. In the 16. Lafau. Short ball. Clean little short ball for Jeff Tupu. 22 out from the Howick line. Can they score before half time? Nice pick up by Waipuri, the fullback for Howick. Just a little bit far. Susumia just not ready for that one. Ooh, that's the sort of ball you don't want that close to the line. Baba could have really stiffened up a defence. They have. They started off a bit slow in this game. Nice little hit and spin from Lloyd and Gillette. Up against Spice! He's here, he's got a hole! Go for Friend. Cruise last second! Down wait. No, stand up. <laughs> Go! Inside! Jody Henry. Yeah, they're good. Well inside. Nicely picked up by Aquila Tuha. Nice big jump step off his right, but then meets three Howard Corners who say you can try that any day of the week, but you're not you're not coming through us. Okay, he will play the ball just inside the Howard half. Malu plays the ball. Slow play. Joyce under pressure. There's a lot of Howick players there, including Susamia. Picks it up, goes for the corner, and scores. Chance favours the Brave. He went up. There were four Howick, four Papakura players there, and it was Susamia to get the double just before half time. Look at the chase by Papakura, and there weren't too many defenders out there for Howick. Good. Count them four on one. And the one that gets the ball is Lewis Sosomir. And he bags a double in Wednesday night league. Pinpoint kick here. Oh, 
as you can see there, Proctor just backing away from the ball rather than attacking it, giving uh, Sosomia the chance to get up in front and cross over. Very nice try. Thank you very much. And on the hooter, Papakura have gone back into the lead. So Tui Pompey got his first attempt. Can he make it a double as well for himself? About two in from touch. And 18 out on the major grandstand side here of North Harbour Stadium. One final look. Coming in. Strikes that well and strikes it perfectly. Just what the doctor ordered at half time and Papakura have hit back inside the last two minutes. Struck it sweetly. And as we head to half time, the Papakura Seagulls have made the big play and they lead the Howard Hornets after the first half on our Wednesday night doubleheader by 12 points to 8. There's more coming your way. Stay with us live. Dating projects where we make your interior fit outs easy. From start to finish, we bring a wealth of experience to every project, and we love what we do, so please come and meet the team. Hi, we're the project management team. Our responsibility is to ensure a smooth running project from start to finish. By having a clear understanding of our clients' expectations, we aim to do this by delivering a stress-free quality fit-out on time. I'm saying I'm a quantity surveyor. My role is to understand your needs and tailor my pricing to suit your budget. Hi, I'm Matt. I'm one of the detailers here at Datum Projects. My role is to take the client's architectural drawings and convert them into shop drawings for our factory. Hi, my name's T. I'm the Health and Safety Manager for Datum Projects, and one of our core principles here is work safe to get you home safe. night league it's week five of the fox premiership and at the moment the team rank number seven as we head into week five the papakura seagulls lead the howard hornets who are the number three team 12 points to six a try late in the first half basically on the hooter a double to lewis sosomia and it has the papakura seagulls leading 12 points to eight it's, it's worth taking a look at uh, these tries because they've all been very strong tries first one went to uh, Josiah Fatilofa. He was off the bench, looked right, and then darted to the left shot. It was a really nice little sucker play. <laughs> it really was. And the energy that he brought coming off the bench, again, sped the game back up for the Howard Corners. Yeah, because the, the Howard Corners had, uh, had one disallowed to Kaylee's Fatilofa early in the piece. Look at this. Bang. Caught them out. The reaction time was good, but you know, a, ha a handy hooker is uh, worth their weight in gold. Then Lewis Sosomir. This comes off the play by Joseph Price, who'd been down earlier. And this great little left-hand flick offload there. And away we go. 
Tutupu picked it up. Reese Joyce was involved, and it was just a straight run. And his time when we got past to Lewis Sosomir was on the money. It was. And the, the line that Reese Joyce re- ran behind was beautiful. It just kind of, he came in like a wave shape, and it really made it hard for the defense to kind of slide off that pass. Yeah, so the Papakura Eagles, the interesting part about all of this is that they were the team under the, all the pressure in that first 20 minutes. Uh, there were more tries coming in. A, a, we got uh, finally got Kaylee's Fatilofa to score. Watch, I've got to say again, I know I'm going on about this pick up here by Jody Henry there. That was just so soft hands, and Kaylee's Fatilofa finally got to the line after being denied early, and he has been a threat since touching his first ball this evening. Has come with big reps, has not disappointed anyone, Kaylee's uh, Fatilofa. Yeah, he's been damaging the whole game. He has groundwork the way he plays fast, the way he's played the whole 40 minutes. Has been very strong indeed, but just before half time, and we're saying just before half time, Joyce puts one up, and Lewis Sosomia is on the ball. Timed his run perfectly, out jumped Johnny Proctor. And then uh, Tui Pompey puts the icing on the proverbial cake. And at half time, it's 12 points to eight in favor of the Papakura Seagulls. They've got a small but loud contingent here that have made the trip up south from south to north. And we look at the numbers. See, now look at the position here. So the Howell Corner, 60% plays 40%. But the completion rate of Papakura and the ability to uh, get in front with obviously kicks is, is really telling. It is. That position right from the Howard corner, she would be disappointed with the lack of points. Uh, having it for such a long time throughout this game. Uh, we've got 16 sets as well that they've had that the, the opportunities to score. Uh, Papakura's defence has been damaging. We've seen some hits out there today. It's been amazing to watch. Oh, it's been fun. It's been it's been fun. It's been hard. It's been tough. But that's what Wednesday night league is all about. Now we did. I did mention it uh, during the game that uh, college rugby league is back. Oh, it's back indeed, and it kicks off this week for schools throughout Tamaki Makoto with four grades coming in 2023. And I, I'm just giving uh, Montebeton the shout out, but Marshland College mm-hmm. are back, which is great. But we thought it'd be with the. Return of the competition, we take a look at last year's grand finals, which saw St. Paul's and Auckland Girls Grammar and Westlake Boys uh, win the ARL competition.
Wednesday Night League is live from North Harbour Stadium. It is week five of the FOSS Premiership. Uh, the match that is in progress at the moment is Papakura against Howick. It's a home game for the Seagulls, and they lead the Howick Hornets 12 points to eight. Still to come this evening, it'll be week seven of the Women's Premiership in the Auckland Rugby League. It'll feature the defending champions, the Manorewa Marlins, up against the Howard Corner. So it's a big night for Howard, but I'm sure they would like to have two Ws beside their names. If you're looking at your diary right now and wondering what's happening next Wednesday night, I can tell you that uh, 6 o'clock next Wednesday, that's next Wednesday, uh, will be Monaco versus Richmond in the Fox. And then it'll be the women's game, Otahu versus Mount Albert in the women's premiership at 8. So there's a lot of footy still to come. That women's game, by the way, that you just saw is at 8 o'clock on Sky Sports Select, which is Channel 50. And both these games are being shown live on the Auckland Rugby League's YouTube channel. 12 points to 8. Papakura lead Howard. Uh, tries to Sosomia for Papakura. And tries to Fatilova, but two different brothers. One Josiah and the other Kalis Fatilova as the teams come back out. Now... This is an interesting one because we saw dominance for about 25 minutes by the Howard Hornets, Charlotte. And then suddenly, those unforced errors went away from Papakura and their whole D changed up. Yeah, it really did. They, they really lifted an intensity and they showed their experience throughout that forward pack. Yeah, very important today. So uh, Ruka Loza, the Howard coach, will have had plenty to talk about to say, OK, well... We had plenty of field position. We've just got to execute. That's Johnny Proctor, out jumped by Louis Sosomia just before half time. He won't want to remember that, but learnings. Corey, you good? Yep, good. Right. Mount side. Second 40 underway here at North Harbour Stadium yeah. in week five yep. of yep. the Fox Premiership. And it will be That's Papakura fine. with first use of the ball. Three play. Go, one. Tupo. Keep going straight up. Here it is. Hold it. Oh. Go two. Oh, they wanted to ship the ball early and it's, it's backfired on them. Not the start you want when you're leading. And you'll deepen your own territory. Yeah, that's just a little bit of a, the old coach killer. That was a Donny Tua Vailopa too. So you reset. But how do you reset when it's you, you, you've had first use of the ball and you drop it so early? I think if you're Papa Cotty, you come out and you chuck a shoulder on. <laughs> that's, what, that's what they've been doing, so I think it's been working for them. Didn't we say something about shoulder charges are illegal? <laughs> hey, I didn't say you can't rap. <laughs> yeah, but I just love what you say, I just chuck a shoulder. I'm just going to chuck a shoulder in. Do you like to chuck a shoulder in, Charlotte? Oh, I wasn't big enough <laughs> yeah, as right a player, on. but I definitely love to tackle. <laughs> so you dreamed about chucking a shoulder in. <laughs> I hyped my friends up when they done it. <laughs> Here come the Howard Corners. Fatilofa try okay, scoring the first there. half. Now look at that left edge there, deep right. Clayton Williams is back on now. He's had a stint on the bench. Friend. They spin it wide. Ooh, good stop. Liam Prendergast stopped dead in his tracks by Tutupu. Good, strong, straight carry from Mukuru Nere. Friend will look up. Can he see any space? Will he go himself? Goes long and wide. Henry, ball for Waipuri. Gets it away to Fatilova. Steps one, steps two, slips. Five and last. 12 out. Howard Henry with a big pinpoint kick. Who's waiting? Gets pu pushed back, knocked on. That was a sweet kick from Jody Henry. That had hang time. Just unfortunate there with the knock on. Uh, the part, the part, the part back was okay from Johnny Proctor. Was right there. Hold here. Go. Oh, this is a Tui Pompey. Now, now. Mark straight. 
17 is now on. It's Jason Toe in acting half for the Papakura Eagles. Too messy in there by Howick. Interesting thing to watch in a situation like that. Papakura not making any fuss. Making no fuss, just getting up, playing the ball, not trying to influence the ref. How like to influence the ref. They like to throw their arms around. They like to grimace. Yeah, a lot of players do, but it's nice to see Papakota just getting amongst their work. Oh, bit of a mistake there, not quite finding touch. Uh, you'll be disappointed with that kick. And if that's a really strong carry by Alan Nui Levu too. Nui Levu. Friend looks up and goes. Looks for the quick play. Tries to... <laughs> just watching the ref while he was trying to get up at the same time just to make sure that he's watching the ruck. Good flopping fish move, that one. Definitely a veteran old Jethro friend. you gotta be, you got to worry that you've been caught a good and only 30 years old. No. I know it's part of the sporting game, but 30, you're not old. Henry Fatia Lofa steps off that big right. Caught this time. Well wrapped up. Henry. This is 19. This is Race Tuivailopa. Eight out from the Papakura line. They need to score first. Henry. Prendergast holds, shows, comes back in, gets away, still going. He's like that, 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 ant, that, that flea that you want to stop and he just can't get away. Friend. Fatio Lofa. Well, we, if he scores, all three brothers have scored. Friend will look up. Go alone. No, short ball. Bang. Goes Williams. Comes out again. Henry. Ball comes away. For, ah, Henry picked it up off his feet. Couldn't hold it. The idea was there from race to Ivalopa. Good ball flicked back. Just poor conversion. Play the ball, fellas. Steps off that and just looks back and sees Henry waiting for it. Nice awareness. I think attackingly, he didn't really need to come in and run that unders line. He could have just held and it was a, a nice, easy draw and pass out there. Uh, just maybe a bit of white line fever. Gotta love white line fever. <laughs> Means you love it. Means you're crazy for the game. Kuda with the ball. Sanili Malu looking a little worse for wear. Okay, let go of the arm. Hold. Go forward. Toe at acting half. Looks for Tupo. Tupo inside. kicks well inside the 40. New Levu with the carry back. I like, I like watching this new Levu. He's strong. Good leg drive going to tackles. Brenda Garst at acting half. This is Eddie Yeremia. Papa Kula saying he was out, sir. Well, play on. That's a late call. So Yeremia gets the ball. Nah, play the ball. picked up by Lewis Sosomia. He was out when he threw it back in. Thanks. Good call there from that ref. When you're in. No change to the score. It's Papakura 12 and Howard Gate. Second half of Wednesday Night League is the fifth week of the Fox Premiership. Taking him out. When you're in. Howard supporters. Not happy with what's going on. Oh, gee whiz, I thought Henry was going to pick that ball up. That's Viliami Lula here. Barnstorming his way down the right-hand side. Come on the way, Tony. Greg Smith's on now in the 15 jersey for Papakura. Toe looks right. Finds Henry Pei. Nice yeah, set. This is slowly building Papakura. 
Joyce goes high. So Samir's waiting again. And that's nicely taken by Howick. Hold it. Wait. Go, one. Louis, Louis. Let out now. Kenzie Pollard's going to hold it. Goes high. And it is a really safe take by Johnny Proctor. Came down hard. Play the ball's a little slow, but he's okay. Prendergast. Out again now! Henry, hold with the ball. Friend with a little short ball. Dead last tackle! Go. Nothing right! Howick making good gains. Prendergast with a kick. Picked up nicely by Aquila Tuha. Gets away from one, gets away from two. Bouncing away and now going stop. Dead now! Dead. Back here, we got a hole! Go one. Sinili Malu Mark plays five. the ball. Go, two. 15 out from halfway. Play, let go! Lula here trying to play Back the three. ball. Players hanging all over him. And now he throws! Play the marker! Hold it! Okay, four. Poe. This is Issy Matalave. Grinding his way down the field. Joyce, under pressure, gets the kick away. And sweetly taken by Waipuri at the back. Ruben Tullavai wants to get back on. Limped off at the half. Not limping now. It has definitely been noticeable, Charlotte, that this Papakura defence has stiffened up. It really has. I also think Howick has gone gone away from their game plan and they're kind of going a bit more direct. Maybe they feel that they can soften them up a little bit more and then, then use that, that strong left edge. That was a good well, Tullabo's on and wreaking havoc in the middle. Good play by Manu Fatilofa. They use the right hand side. Kick through from Roy and Gillette. Is it going to hold up? Well, they're going to allow it to hold up. And now, is this the mistake by Papakura? No. Great work by Aquila okay, Tuha, the fullback. Great run by Sinili Maru. Okay, Good yards. No one really wanted to hold him. Hey, okay, Body's walking out there. There's a long way to go in this Come second on, half. Lola here Come plays on. the ball now. Flat ball. There's Susamia. And who does he find? He finds Tui. He finds Tui. Pompey, can he go all the way? Look at that step. Look good. Not going to work this time. I'll have your boots too, thanks. Joyce you can see the overrun puts the little chips through there's a chase and it's a good chase too but it will be Howard Ball so now the chase by Papakura has come to play as well both teams really loosening up a little bit around their their ruck defense creating this faster style of play uh, I think the team that kind of tightens up and starts controlling the ruck area will come out on top. Just to keep it simple, stupid argument. <laughs> do, what, do what the coach told you to do. <laughs> Race to Ivalopa. Haven't seen him uh, meet his brother, Donny, his identical twin brother at all. This is Kaylee's uh, Fatialofa. Every time he touches the ball, you expect something to happen. Friend looks up, Jody Henry. Slugs one down the field. Picked up by Aquila Tuha. Puts the big jump step in. But this deck, once it gets damped by two Pompey, that was pretty impressive to that point. <laughs> love, a, love a good front on step. <laughs> Would have been better if he beat them, but hey. 
left side one there. Oh, it's, it's nearly Malu who's having a heck of a night. Second time in this half already he's got up a bit dodgy. Lewis Susumia, a double in the first half. All the tries for the Papakura Seagulls. Joseph Price waiting to come back on. This is Isi Matalabe. He's good 40 20 option here for Reese Joyce, but he hasn't got the angle on it. It bounces straight into Tyrone Waikuri's hands, and he just does what he has done all night just goes straight back. Attempted strip doesn't come off. Fatsilofa looks up. Makes it a quick three or four meters. Here's the strip here. Coach would be happy with that. Jason Pay, won't be. To the bike. Ooh. Wow. Well, you could see on the sub box there that how excited Papakura are for that mistake to have created that error. It was a hard one, that one. I just thought that I didn't think it would have hit the deck. Just behind the line. So, an, a chance behind now for Papakura. 10 from halfway. They'll get the ball back. They're leading by four. But there's still a lot of time. But yeah, baby. Kura all day. <laughs> that's what he's saying. Papa could have some hearty fans out there, that's for sure. Wait, wait. So with the ball. Find Susumia. Susumia palming and still going. Look at that big drive. Taking two of them with him. Good carry by Luis Susumia. Go. This year, Matalevi has made a difference since he's been brought on by the coach, Terrell Sala. Here come Kura, Kura away. This is Christian Jordan Tupo. He goes all the way. What has happened to the Howard defense? And Christian Jordan Tupo goes all the way for the Papakura Seagulls to extend their lead. I think it's not just the defense from Howick that is starting to lack. It's their attacking speed that they started this game with. They need to start speeding the game back up if they want to get in it. It was a beautiful run there. Nice little dummy. Did he get it down? Did he get it down? Did he get it down? Just have to ask that question. Just throwing it out there, Charlotte. <laughs> Referee was there. Touches were there. Gave it. And I think if you ask the Papakura supporters, 100% he got it down. <laughs> you know, it's, it's really funny. You took, use that phrase 100%. I don't know how many times you hear someone say, hey, how are you doing? How's everything going? 100%. Well, we change that up, don't we? <laughs> What's your suggestion? I have no <laughs> suggestions. I, yeah, see, I, I, I put myself on the gun there, right? 100%. How about just saying, how are things going? Fine, thanks. 100%. Well, who is 100% is this young man, Tui Pompey. He hasn't missed all night. Here's a chance to extend the lead out to 18 points to 8. Are you mic'd up Deep breath, takes a look, visualizes. I'm sure Daryl Chuck Halligan will love the way he's doing this. Or he'll ring me and say, well, he could do this. Has he got this one? Straight over the black dot again. Tui Pompey maintains his 100% record. And the score right now is starting to not blow out, but go close. 18 -8. This is the try from Christian Jordan Tupo. Have a look. Does he get it down? From here, you probably say yes. Because you can't see where the ball is, but there, there was a suggestion maybe he might have been held up. Because Fatilofa had his hand under the ball, but oh, we'll never know. Oh, hang on, yes we will. Watch this, watch this closely. Watch this closely. Watch closely. Watch closely. 
I'm saying no try, but too late for that, folks. You can't have an opinion, you know, Charlotte. Absolutely. I'll, I'm well, absolutely. Say, what, 100% ben, no try? Benefit of the doubt. <laughs> they still do that. 18 8 score. Papa Gouda lead Howard. Week 5, Wednesday Night League. Stephen McIver, Charlotte Scallon in the house, wherever that house may be, you're watching or listening while doing something else. Papa Gouda ball inside the 40 from Reese Joyce. Has he got it right this time? Bounce in favour of Tyrone Waipuri, and he'll do what he's been doing all night. Straight out, little hips. A hip hop into that one and is, is picked up by Viliami Lula here. If he let go! Johnny Proctor plays it. And gets the penalty as well. They needed that. They definitely needed that. They did. And they need to kick the ball nice and deep and just complete a set. Get rid of those errors that, that have been creeping into the game. Play nice and fast. Oh, the old that tells everything, doesn't it? You're behind. You want to get on. It's all about momentum and who's going to hold it for the longest. Friend. He finds Clayton Williams solid through the middle. Williams has been. Finds his front row partner and Manu Fatialofa, his both his brothers have scored. He'd certainly like to get on the board and make a triple family night out. They need a lot more than that, though. Prendergast, shape to kick, nice short ball. Two, let go! Let go now! Go four. Waipuri. Prendergast, looking, 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 finding Jody Henry. Goes out wide, and will it be? Yes, it will be. Alan New Levu scores for Howick. And just like that, the Hornets have got some sting back in this game. <laughs> just use that strong left hand side. It was set up there nicely with their first, their right-hand shape, to then swing it back left. This is the game plan that I was talking about, that moving moving the ball left to right, then going back the other way, playing with speed, trying to move these big boys from Papakura around rather than playing direct into where they're the strongest. It's almost a natural style of play for Howard, and they've gone away from that. Now, look, it may have been instructions, but you can see given, given that room and that space what they can achieve yeah they run some really tidy lines good backdoor options everyone starts buying into the game plan starts moving forward gets a good push on either side of the ruck makes it really hard to defend you would have to say jody henry's influence on this game going forward uh, for howick has been strong just just his subtleties his nuances his kicks his his passes short passes long hauls like mm -hmm. the one to new level there yeah, that's not an easy pass to throw over the top of a player. But they're not making the conversions all that easy, are they? Another one out on the touch, about 2 and 17 out on the grandstand side for Howick. This is struck well, but it's going to hook left, so no addition. And it's 18-12, Papakula lead Howick. I sense that there are lots more Seagull supporters in the house than Howick supporters because that kick went over and there was a loud cheer. So now they have to reset Papakura. They went into the break, 12-8, scored first that lovely Christian Jordan Tupo try Bye -bye. only about three or four minutes ago. The response has been swift from Howick. And now the gap is one converted try. Fatih Lofa, unafraid to carry, unafraid to take on the big men in the middle. Hold, hold, hold! Release down! Go! Can't see Cruz! Friend looks up, still going. Friend, that's a really good carry. 
and then gets one gets a gets a little nudge does he oh hang on hang on hang on remember that word that phrase that we were talking about brotherly love play, play, play. <laughs> maybe not maybe not a little, maybe mind you brothers do have a little bit of push and shove don't they yeah definitely what happened here let's just have a look so he goes for a little dart goes left comes back and then oh, there's Sorry, a little clip three. there but yep. It's, I think it's the second effort here. Yeah, it's, when the, you're it's, the, it's, the, it's the second effort from Terrell Sala. Okay, let up, Henry! Hold here. Go four. That's a great ball. Flat ball from Clayton Cruise, Williams. Last tackle. Ben Ho. Go. Not late. Friend yep, looks for Jody right. Henry. Dab little kick through. Goes straight into the hands of Sidney Liamalu. I've got a question for you. I just wonder Stand whether Jethro Friend needs to step right, up his influence it. around the ruck. Be a little I, busier. Start running a little right, more. Oh, yeah, and I think getting his uh, his runners just a little bit wider. Uh, that, uh, at the moment, it's quite close. It's quite congested around that ruck area, which isn't creating many opportunities um, to try and move those big boys. You've got to play the ball to go forward. That's a bad mistake by Papakura, so close to their own line. 22 out. It'll be Howard Ball. Another chance to potentially try and level this game up. Nukurua Ngere is waiting on the sideline to get on. Too far from here, bro. Big shout out, of course, to uh, Crystal Ruto as well, who had surgery. What is that? A week ago? Two weeks ago? Got 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 what she calls the body out of her knee <laughs> i said it must have been a heck of a big knee to get a body out of it and it was she, a big bone that's for sure here come the howard hornets well i had a look at her instagram profile and she showed the body and i just about vomited there was a big piece of bone that came out of that knee <laughs> this is eddie Yeremia back on big tall second round for howard there 13 out Ooh, forward, that was marginal. Yeah. That ball here, yeah. well forward from Jethro Friend to Ruben Tulavai. Just a little unforced error is now coming. Yeah, and it looked like it was called from the touch end. It was a correct call, to be fair. Just the timing of that runner, just holding off a little bit, understanding that you're right on the goal line. Stedman LaFowl. Papakuna ball. Will have to work themselves off their own 10 metre line. A little over 14 minutes to play in week five of the Fox Premiership at North Harbour Stadium. Live on Sky Sport for the home of the great game of rugby league. And also on Auckland Rugby League's YouTube channel. Wherever you are watching around the world. Welcome to New Zealand. On a Wednesday night which is cool and there is the bite of winter being felt oh! still one game nice! to come this evening that is the women's premiership game round seven featuring the defending champions the Mango Rewa Marlins and I'm sure if your own Crystal Orozo will be stuck to the telly watching that one two point the chart, last cry short for the Seagulls held up nicely he's going to go left and flirt with the oh! touch line Tyrone Waipuri oh! Fatilofa. Henry, let go! Mark straight! Hold! No markers! Chulavai with the short ball on Tengeri. He's on. Yeah, nice, three. strong carry. And wait. Okay, three. Not a marker. Jeff, Jeff! You're good now. You're good now. Let go there, Reese! Mark straight and hold! So all that fishing around, lost the ball. And that's not one Ruben Tolawai needed, nor did his team need. Oh, got a little nudge? Nah, that was... That was, <laughs> <laughs> that was his carry. Um, unfortunate as well, as those carries out were, were good, how it had started to get some push on either side of the ruck. To then just kind of let Papakura off there. Right. 
Malo finds Malu. Malu beaten up by Jody Henry, who has been impressive in the 17 jersey for Howard this evening. Price plays it. Let go, let go! Peggy wants the quick play, gets it, finds Cruz Tupo. They're making strong meters now. That was Terrell Sala. Papakura on the hunt now. Joyce looking for Tutupu. Last six, William! Let him go, let him go. Fifth and last. They're going to go short side and put the boot in. There's a nice chase from Tui Pompey here. And just a little shove on Manu Fatulofa. He doesn't have the ball when you push him. Okay, so referee Green can't push like that. I wonder if his brother Adam has rung him and or we'll rings him before games today. Go do this, go do that. Yeah. <laughs> just short, just short, just short of the line. Warriors playing the Raiders in Raiderville this weekend. It's gonna be a great game. Last place you want to be in the cold, Canberra. <laughs> And Jared Croker's 300th game. Yes, they're definitely going to come at us. Uh, I do obviously I believe the Warriors there. will get up. <laughs> they're impressive against what I thought was a disappointing uh, Dolphin side, which I've loved watching this season. And it was a fine effort by the one right New Zealand Warriors to get up. People are loving it, and why not? We love Wednesday night league as well. Mano Rewa, the Sahara Corner to the Women's Premiership, still to come after this one on Sky Sports Select Channel 50 or the Auckland Rugby League YouTube channel. Strong two man tackle by Papakuta, whose defence has been the impressive part, and they're holding on. A little over 10 to play. They're leading by six. Tolavai goes himself, picks it up. No! Double knock on. How it's the knock on first, so it would be Papakuda ball. Bit of a missed opportunity there from Howick, who had numbers on that left hand edge, um, to then just go for a little chip. It's the second time that's come up too. Look at the numbers there. You can see on the on the screen there. You've got three there, and you had four or five on that left hand side from Howick. Just need to keep the the ball in hand. Susumia, strong carry. Gets Papakura closer to halfway. To Tupu. Another stoppage. With nine minutes to go, anything can happen within this game. It's going to be who takes the opportunities that are given to them. As we've seen throughout the game, Papa could have need only a little bit to be able to cross over. Howick, however, need to make sure they hold on to that ball. We can see here again the numbers that Howick have on that left-hand side in comparison to Papakura. They are the moments that are crucial within a game. They'll look back and be very disappointed they didn't capitalise on that. Papakura, and guess who's back on? Stedman the foe is back on. Henry Payton has started to really work Howick over. Oh, it was uh, Nukurua Nere coming in with the loose arm. So Tui Pompey will kick the touch. 
Well, that's a hell of a good kick, too. That's a great kick. None of this just kicking out straight you see in the NRL. I've always wondered why they don't look for distance. <laughs> you can see it right there. It can be done, and you can get great field position. Oh, quick play the ball. Viliami Lola here. And yes, that might just be enough. Papakura have scored again. Viliami Lola here has caught Howick napping. There was the lovely kick by Pompey to here and watch. And he just went straight through the gap. Saw the gap between Alan Nulevu and Kaylee Fatilofa. And Viliami Lula here might have sealed this deal. We talked about just before about how little opportunity Papakura need to actually cross that line. They just showed all they needed was to create a, an error there, kick to touch and just straight over. So you need to answer my question about kicking for touch. You know, see Tui, Tui Pompey there, really strong kick to touch, getting distance. We see so often in the NRL, it's normally just, uh, oh, just they just uh, casually kick it out and get on with it. Why don't we see more longer touch finders for distance? I think because with your full set, you want to make sure that you have a bit of space between you and the defence where they're not shooting off the line. Uh, if you end up right on the 10, that on the goal line, you know that pressure is going to rush you uh, and you've got to lay that platform. It's a lot more pressure than if you were to be at your 20 or your 30 to then set up a play to play off the back of that. Tui Pompey hasn't missed all night. Looking good, looking good. And is not going to miss at all again. And that's where you say... 100 percent. Absolutely, 100. Viliami Lola here looks around. He's eight out from the line. Has a little sneaky and then goes. The sound five. Well executed, and you'll take that every day. Successful conversion from Tui Pompey. And it's 24 12. Papakura, the seventh ranked team with five and a half to play in Wednesday Night League. No more there! Santa Marca! Wait! Go, two. No, here once more! Still going! Fatih Lofa can't get him. Finally taken down by Tyrone Wild Booty. Reese Joy swings it left. Still going. Who wants it? Finally picked up by Greg Smith. Hold. Go four. Jarrell Sala. Hold it. Cruz Go. Tupo waiting. Joyce for the drop. Goal! It's good. It's real good. Just to make it that much harder. Slots it nicely. About 17 out, straight in front of the sticks. And Reese Joyce adds the extras, and it's 25 12 to Papakura. That's not how you start, it's how you finish the game, and the Papakura Sea Eagles have come to play. Have they what? All right, stay back. Okay, let go, Liam! Yeah, Hold it. Wait. 
So in the scale of things, with uh, a little over three minutes to play, Charlotte, you would have to say now, that Papakura have put a lot of teams on warning that they are building. They are, and they've been dam damaging this season already. Really close losses, really close wins, and this here is just showing how dominant they can be. They'll just play, they'll just play for time now. Knowing this one's in the bag. 25-12. Tries of the second half to Christian Jordan Tupo, who caught everyone napping. And then that little sneak play, you might say, from Viliami uh, Lula here. And... Throw straight up! Squeeze in and hold! Hold! Go, one. Christian Steve, straight up! And hold! Go, two. Okay, lead up there. Coming inside the last two minutes now, it has been a heck of a match. Last tackle, lead up. Let him go. Sammy Hanapururu oh. for Howick. Can they get the consolation tries? They say doesn't really matter because they're not going to get the points. Pururu, Pururu, and Johnny Proctor goes across and scores. Just like that. All a bit sort of slow motion, but Johnny Proctor scores for the Howard Hornets off the back of a very tidy run from Tamihana Pururu. Roy and Gillette goes left. And they come back inside, and that was a really nice run from Manu Fatilova. Ball goes backwards. Bururu sees the option, and Johnny Proctor says, well, I'll take that. Okay, and it's 25-16 with the kick to come. They take it quickly. Jody Henry. Jody Henry. Oh, way out. Misses it. And that just about will do Time it. Off. Time goes off with little to play. Let's go. It'd be hard to pick a player of the match out of this one, Charlotte, wouldn't it? Because uh, a lot of players have come in fits and starts. You'd have to look at, uh, you probably would have to look at the likes of Lewis Susumia, who's scoring twice. Uh, and both those tries were strong tries. Yes, he had to finish one off, but the second one, climbing high, was a, is a strong effort. And he has been strong all night. So, so maybe Lewis Susumia is, is the guy that has stood out in a game that's been, it's had fits and starts from many players. Yeah, exactly. A lot of these players have stepped up in different areas. Uh, we've got Lolo here as okay, well, who's carried done. really strong Head in the hold. last 20. Uh, we've got Joyce as well, who's been leading his team around the field. Terrell, lead up! Mark Got two. Got to play with the last. Forward, 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 forward. Yeah. Forward pass. So, 15 seconds to play. Will they put the scrum down? We'll wait and see. Most importantly, Papakura have upset Howickton. And there's a genuine upset this evening here at North Harbour Stadium in week five of the Fox Premiership. The Hooter goes and Referee Green calls time. And that's a big win on a Wednesday night. Papakura, 25-16. They led 12-8 at half time. Tries to Lewis Sosomia, who was extremely strong throughout the game. Scored the first try for a lovely work, just a lovely worked ball from Price through to Joyce. And then his second try, climbing high over Proctor, was a beauty. Absolute beauty. 
So the final score here, 25-16. Papakura get the win in week five of the Fox Premiership. live with Wednesday Night League and the smiles on the faces of the Papakura Seagulls say it all. They have upset the Howard Hornets in week five of the Fox Premiership by 25 points to 16. They led 12-8 at half time through a double by Lewis Susumia and then tries in the second half or should I say yes to Christian Jordan Tupo and Viliami Lulahia. Both those second half tries were, were very, very strong tries and then Reese Joyce the veteran, they like to call him the veteran, who's won a Fox with Papakura, uh, just threw the drop goal out about 17 in front to tie this one up 25 points to 16. Tries to two of the Fatialofa brothers to Howick, uh, one to Josiah and also to Kalis, and then tries to uh, New Levu and a late try to Proctor in the second half for Howick. But this has been a, an impressive performance. Sio Setofano said to Charlotte Scalen early in the evening right before the start of the game that uh, people it's a, we're in the people business and that's the most important thing we're in the people business and these are my people and if they're happy then we're happy they'll play good footy they had they started a bit sloppy to say the least a lot of unforced errors in the first 20 for the Papakura Seagulls but settled down stepped up their D and as they say defense wins championships all right let's get some post-match reaction with Charlotte Tough game out there today, Jethro. What will you guys do going into the next game at practice? I think it's something we've been focused on the last, I think, month and a bit. It's just a little bit too patchy at time. That's time for dominant and, and getting a go for momentum, and then just errors and penalties really um, take that pressure off and put the other team in a position. So it just be more consistent throughout the whole game, and we've got momentum, try to hold that for a longer period. So a bit disappointing because I feel like we're better than that. But um, yeah, just learn from it, reflect, and, and be better next game. So there you go. It's, it's all about the learnings, and that's what they need to do because that's the most important thing for them going forward. They dropped a 3-2, and two and the Hal Gordons go to 3-2 and two as well. Okay, Charlotte? Congratulations on an awesome game out there. It was a bit of a slow start. What was said to kind of ramp up that momentum? Um, it wasn't really anything said. It was just... Everyone's need to calm down and just complete the sets, you know, no more penalties because that penalty count in the first half was crazy. So, yeah, the boys run after that. Just the one question. This all around from the Papakura Seagulls. They get the W tonight, and the final score in week five is 25 16 Papakura over Howick.